Welcome to today's lesson. This tune is called The Grenadier and the Lady and it comes from uh, the old version of the film Far From the Madding Crowd uh, which starred Alan Bates and Judy Christie back in the 60s and of course it's the Thomas Hardy story. Um, I think this is a traditional Dorset uh, folk tune which is um, or folk song which is very apt of course because uh, Hardy's novels were kind of based in, in that area of England. So it's a lovely tune to play. Um, if you go to my website, you can download my usual tab for it and also some sheet music for it. Um, now this is in a Aeolian mode, okay? Uh, don't worry if that, that, that frightens you to death because it needn't do because really it's just basically a natural minor scale. Let me try and explain that to you. If you were to play all the white notes from a C up to another C, an octave higher, uh, you'd have a scale of C major. If you started on A and went up to A playing all the white notes, uh, you'd be playing a scale of uh, A natural minor, or if you like, that's the A Aeolian mode. So A Aeolian sounds pretty scary, doesn't it? But it basically means uh, you're in A minor playing all the notes that you would normally find in C major. So in other words, you are going to play A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Uh, in this tune, actually the lowest note is E and the highest note is E, but it is in A minor. We're counting in threes and you come in on beat three and uh, if you look at my sheet music, you'll see there's a, a stave with just one note in it. We call this an anacrusis, where you have an incomplete bar to start with. So you count one, two, and you play the E on beat three. Now in the first uh, proper bar, if you like, you've got the counting one, two, three, and A, A, B, A. So that sounds like this. And if you look at the sheet music, you've got two crotchets and then two quavers. One, two, three, and. And in the next bar, the timing is the same. As it climbs up, crotchet, crotchet, quaver, quaver. So on the third stave, uh, this is the next bar, uh, you've got this bit. E, E, D, C, and that's crotchet, quaver, quaver, crotchet. So different setup to the previous two bars. Here you've got the two quavers on beat two. So you've got the crotchet takes up the whole of beat one, two quavers on beat two, and a crotchet on beat three. And you're running down E, E, D, C. Now in the next bar, uh, you can see, if you look at the sheet music, the first note has the head not filled in. It has a stem, that's a minim. It lasts for two bits. It lasts for the first two beats of the bar. And then on the third bit of the bar, you have the E, so they're uh, on the same row. B, then E, B lasts for two beats, first two beats of the bar, and E is on the third beat. And then you've got a repeat of an earlier bar. A, A, B, A. Now here's an interesting bar, the next bar, uh, because you've got G, E, E. You've only got three notes to actually play. If you look at the tablature, uh, you've got G, E, 1, and 2, through the E is held for, um, well, the whole of the uh, second half of beat 1, and then you've got beat 2, beat 3, and you play the E again on the end count of beat 3. So you've got 1, and 2, 3, like that. If you look at the music, um, the way that's written is two quavers, G, E, but the E is tied to another dotted E. Now, you, if you're looking at the music, you play the first E, you don't play the second E, you just hold the note on uh, for the value of that dotted note, which is one and a half beats. And then on the last half beat of that bar, the end count of three, you've got another E, which is a quaver. In case you don't know, the first two notes of the bar are quavers. When you have two quavers together, they're joined by a line along the top. Uh, but the very last note of the bar is a single quaver, and that, of course, 
has got a little hook to it. So it looks like a crotchet, but it's got a little hook and it's only half a beat. So we're on the last bar of tablature on the first page. E, A, B are the notes. Um, if you look at the sheet music, so you've got a similar setup to the previous bar. You've got the E, A, two quavers. Uh, the A is tied to another uh, A, which is a crotchet. And then on the third bit of the bar, you play the B. So the timing is one and two, three. And then we're on to page two of the tablature. And we have an A, which is a minimum, two beats. And on the last two beats of the bar, you play C, D, running up on those two quavers. So we're now on the second bar of the second page, tablature wise anyway, and we have this. Two E's and a C. Now the first E is a crotchet, it takes up the whole of beat one. The second E is a dotted crotchet, it takes up the whole of beat two and half of beat three. And the last note is a C, which is a quaver on that end count of three. So the counting is one, two, three, and one, two, three, and. These bars of three never make sense on their own. So let's put the next bar in. So E, E, C, D, D, E, D. One, two, three, and one, two, three, and. So that next bar there is two crotchets, two quavers. One, two, three, and. And then we've got this. Um, uh, two quavers, Cs, okay, tied to a crotchet C. And then you've got a D, which is a crotchet. So the timing is. Uh, one and two, three, one and two, three, and then on the next bar, a B, which is a minimum, two beats, one, two, three, and B, C, B, okay? Very near the end now, and um, we've got our old friend, um, a, A, B, A, which we've done a couple of times before, one, two, three, and now we have a really nice rundown. G, F, E, E, okay? So the G on the left-hand side, followed by F on the right-hand side, followed by E on the left-hand side. The timing, well, it's two quavers, dotted crotchet quaver. So the timing, or the counting, if you like, is one and two, three, and. So the G is on beat one, the F is on the end count of one, halfway through beat one. Uh, the E is on beat two, Last of the whole of beat two, half of beat three, and the final E is halfway through beat three. So that gives you like that. And then a really straight bar. Uh, I think it's the first time we've played three straight crotchets in the bar. We have E, A, B, E, A, B. One, two, three, and on the end, Play an A and an E together. The A on the right hand side is the tune, and the E in brackets on the left hand side is a little low harmony or bass. That's why I put it in the brackets. And that's a dotted minimum on the music there, and so it lasts for the whole of beat three. A dot adds on half as much again. So a, two, uh, a minimum is two, okay? Half of two is one, two plus one is three, that's where you get your three beats. And of course that E low note is not on the sheet music. Or you could go, you could play it like this. Instead of going, you could play. And if you did that, you play A on the right hand side, G on the left hand side, and back to the A again on the right hand side. Crushed in, and that's a modern little ornament. So not terribly hard to play, play it with lots of feeling, it's not too fast, is it? But uh, there's some quite tricky bits of timing and it's, it's always changing. Sometimes one, two, three and, sometimes one, two and three, sometimes one and two, three and. It really swaps around a lot, doesn't it?
So there we are, uh, the grenadier and the lady in a aeolian mode, or if you prefer it, a natural minor. That's the scale that it's based on. Uh, that's the end of today's lesson, and I hope you enjoyed it.